of things that I wanted to share with you. According to Pew Research, the net worth of white families in 2013 was 141,000. For black families, it was 11,000, even less than the 19,000 it was in 2007. According to economist Edward Wolf of the University of New York, excluding vehicles and other durables, the median black family worth is just $1,700, while 40% of black families have zero or negative wealth. White family worth, in terms of uh, financial worth, is 69 times more than that of black families. Given this disparity, how can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. So what do I think those riots are? I think the depravity, I think they're thugs, and I think if you really wanna make a difference, Thurgood Marshall, who grew up just two blocks from there, did such a thing, who was a contemporary of Martin Luther King. And now I'd like to skip over to Dr. Seacrest. I, I look at the Baltimore uprisings as more than just riots, right? I hate the idea when you say thugs and riots, right? White people riot as well. When y'all win Super Bowls two years in a row, y'all get off the hook. Don't make it seem like it's just Baltimore getting upset. So my 32nd answer is I feel the frustration of what's happening in the community and I think it's a symptom. The, the uprisings are a symptom of a pressure that's been unaddressed for too long. I'm, I'm offended by the language of uprising applied to people who are breaking into other black people's stores and looting them. Uh, this is not. This is a lack of values. And people who people who are destroying private property, destroying cop cars, in an uprising against what exactly? Against the black police chief, against a mostly minority police force, against the black mayor, against the black president, against the black attorney general, against the entirely uh, against a, a city council that that is nine of fifteen are black and all fifteen are elected Democrats. Uh, what is the uprising against? What is it seeking to achieve? I still don't see what exactly the, the, the riots are seeking to achieve. Bottom line is, uh, this is all, it, it all could be boiled down to just act like a mensch. Act like a human being. Honestly, it's not a useful, it's not useful to riot, it's not useful to break things, it's not useful to throw rocks at people. And the idea that we're supposed to sort of correlate let's, let's your level of outrage. Let's hold off on the idea, I'm gonna stick to the 30 seconds on yeah, this the last one, Charles. Sentence, the, the last okay. sentence, yeah. the, the idea that we're supposed to correlate your level of outrage with a certain level of justification. In other words, the more outraged you are and the more angry you are, the more justified you must be is absolute nonsense. Yeah.